that comes from life, but beyond it. The art of dance has an extremely close relationship with life. All movements in life can be transformed into dance movements. The cars on the road, the people in the street, the clouds in the sky, the birds flying freely, the trees blowing in the breeze, the ripples in the lake, and so on. These are all life movements, and we can all translate this. Live movements into dance movements. Then, how to better translate is a question that every one of we choreographers should study and think about. So, I interviewed some people to find out what they thought and how they transformed their live movements into dance movements. Um, to me, I would say no. There isn't a difference because, for my understanding of my own practice with dance, it can embody any and everything.、Yeah. Um, and so, when I'm dancing, I think about how I can use this movement in day to day life, and vice versa, how my movement in day to day life is it shows up in my dancing,、um, as well as like when I'm. Just going for a walk. How do I feel each twist with each step and things like that? So, for me, it's kind of one in the same.、Um, it just depends on if I feel like I'm performing it or not.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a difference. I do not consider dance as a sport, which is、uh, an issue. I don't know. Like. For be a sport, it has to be like a competition, and I know there's com dance competitions, and that it's an important、mm -hmm. like part of the dance world.、Mm -hmm. But I think when you just take the competition, you're leaving behind other aspects of dance. That it's not just like the、um, how the body can make shapes or who has the bigger the highest score. There's another other parts of dance that are left. Behind, so that's why I do not consider the dance、okay. as a sport. Yes, I think there is a difference,、um, but there is also overlap. So there's the line is kind of blurry. What differences do you think、uh, between、uh, them? I I think live movement is、uh, is move without thinking, but、uh, dance movement is moving with your very clear. Awareness of what you are doing.、Yeah. The difference、mm. between them, I would say, is the I guess the intention and、um, the thought of whether it is being、um, performed or not. So with dance, the the thought is always that it's going to have an audience.、Mm -hmm. Someone is going to see it, knowing that it's a dance. Whereas with life movements, it feels more like. Um, I'm the audience, and how am I seeing what I'm doing in my daily movements? Or do I feel like other people are watching it? It feels like a more internal、um, understanding of the movements that are happening, rather than yeah, knowing that there's a group of people that are going to be observing it. I think the main difference is intention.、Um, why you're doing the movement that you're doing.、Um, And so, if you are intending for it to be dance, it becomes dance.、Um, and if it's just your daily life, it's just life.、So. In your creation, do you like to do a plain life movement to your work? I do. Yes. 
I I usually forget that I can a lot of the time. <laughs> so like I'll be choreographing and I'll get stuck on a movement that I've just done and I'll like kind of overthink it where I'm like, oh, what should I do next? And then I remember, oh, I could literally just like wave or I could walk or I could do something like that. Um, and so it always comes as like a relief that like, oh, I can, I can take my daily movements and put it to this thing. Yes, I do. I like to I like to bring like everyday movement to my work mm -hmm. because I believe yeah movement every kind of I love it can be <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like movement like dance is dance but movement can be dance and dance can be movement. It all depends how you see it. So yes, I love to bring elements from everyday life into the creations that I yes do. I like you put some baby. Yes, I sometimes start with um, like gestures um, from normal life movement and then kind of expand them and make them bigger or modify them and change them to make them more dancey. <laughs> um, in the process of creating your dance, uh, how did you transform line movements uh, into dance form? So with my, the way I go about it, usually I'll start with a simple movement. Um, <clears throat> like I'll, for example, I'll just use waving. Um, I'll see like how my hand is moving and then think about how I can make it even bigger or how I can make it even smaller mm -hmm. um, or even how it could translate like into a foot. So I, I usually start with the initial movement and then see how different I can make it as I'm choreographing um, and creating. And yeah, once I find, in that exploration, once I find a difference that I really like or my body likes or just seems to go with the choreography that's already been done, then I'll stick with it and that's kind of how it progresses. I think it depends on what kind of effect I need to use. Like sometimes I just combine them together to make some contrast or I can exaggerate my daily movements mm -hmm. or I will repeat some da daily movements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I cop the, well, it depends. One, one way to do it is just copy as I would do it. Like if I'm brushing my teeth, I would do it the same way. Like, like exactly. The other way is just um, transforming it and playing it with um, with the, like with how big or how small is the, is the movement so that would be another and with the time and time doing it once do it twice what if I do it like multiple times what if it just appears in one specific moment and another thing that I would do is to yeah try to see which is the starting point of that movement which part mm. of the body is the starting starting point of the movement and from that from there explore um again i i started with movement that is just things that i do every day um as my original material and then um, modified it with time or space um, to make it a little more artistic. In his book, Aesthetic Relation Between Art and Reality, uh, Russian literary theorist uh, Chernyshevsky mentioned that art comes from life. Uh, therefore, I think dance originates from life moment. Uh, and the difference between two uh, is that life movement is more random and meaningless while dance movement is refined and processed on the basis of life movement and finally uh, presents meaningful and uh, appreciable. Uh, based on a bold point of view, I often use life movement uh, in dance works. 
Usually, I will first think about what I want to express in dance moment. Uh, then I will recall how I do in the real life moment, and finally, I will process and modify this action in the life moment according to the needs of dance work itself. Yes. Can you simply do uh, a real life moment uh, to carry up again them into dance sports? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, please. Now I'm doing a same thing wrong. And then I change the space. And then I climb the mountain. I drink water. I repeat it. And then I get up very quick. This is a site of images I recorded from Dining Life. 
which shows a few people coming together to a cafe for a chat. I show them the recorded live videos and ask them to translate these live movements into dance movements. As a result, to transform an otherwise unconscious movement of life into a conscious movement of dance, and fading into the available space and atmosphere.